In a bold move of defiance, Mark used his ex-girlfriend, Jenna's credit card, to book an extravagant overseas flight. Assuming it would go unnoticed until he was long gone, his smug satisfaction was short-lived. Jenna discovered the charge almost immediately and swiftly devised a plan to turn the tables on him. Her revenge, both ingenious and chilling, left Mark regretting his impulsive decision as he turned pale in disbelief. As soon as Jenna saw the charge on her bank account, she knew that Mark was the culprit. It couldn't be anyone else. He was the only other person in the world who knew her credit card information. She was completely shocked, and she soon found out that it was too late to cancel the flight. But that wasn't a problem. Jenna had already thought of another, even better way to take revenge. When Mark found out what she had done, all the color drained from his face. I, Jenna, how could you? He exclaimed, but Jenna remained calm. He continued to throw a hysteric tantrum and call her all kinds of nasty names, but she didn't care. Actually, he was even doing her a favor. She listened to all the mean things that were coming out of his mouth, and all she could do was smile. What's so funny? You're crazy, Mark yelled. But only moments later, he fell completely silent. Only at this moment did he realize what had happened. And he wanted to blame Jenna, but he knew very well that it was all his own fault. But what was Jenna's revenge? Why didn't she become angry when Mark said all those nasty things to her? And how would their story end? At first, Jenna just stared at her computer screen in silence for some time. She was just doing her finances when she spotted an unusually large sum of money that had been withdrawn from her account, and she didn't remember spending money on anything that expensive the last month. This did not make any sense. But then she figured out, as she realized that her credit card had been used to book a flight, it all clicked. Of course, this had to be Mark's doing. She immediately dialed his number, but he didn't answer. Then she called again and again, but each time, he declined, and eventually he either blocked her number or put his phone in airplane mode so that none of her calls went through. Either way, she was not going to give up. Jenna called one of her best friends to check on his social media. She'd normally do it herself, but he had blocked her everywhere. She hoped that he would have posted an update about his upcoming travel, but according to his friend, he hadn't been active online and there was nothing to see. So, Jenna decided to take a different approach. She phoned the airplane company through which Mark had booked the flight, and because she had the bank account information, she was able to get the details of the booking. At first, she wanted to cancel it, but sadly, that wasn't possible anymore because the flight was leaving in less than 24 hours. And then, Jenna had an amazing idea. In the spur of the moment, she asked the airline employee if there was another seat available on the same flight. And to her amazement, there was. It was the last seat. I'm sorry, but it isn't anywhere near the first seat you have booked, so you won't be able to sit together. The woman on the phone said, unaware of the situation. Really, this sounded like music in Jenna's ears. Oh well, that's too bad. I'll take it anyway, Jenna said, feigning disappointment. She finished off the booking over the phone and immediately went to pack her bags. She also phoned her boss to tell her she needed to go on an emergency trip for a few days, and luckily, this wasn't a problem at all. Even though Mark had shown his worst side, she was excited about her plan. Her revenge is going to be so sweet. The next morning, Jenna took a taxi to the airport. She was really tired because she had stayed up quite late to figure out the rest of her plan. And now, she knew exactly what she was going to do. She wore sunglasses and a cap, just to make sure Mark wouldn't recognize her if he happened to see her. She wanted it to be a surprise until the last moment. Jenna arrived at the bustling airport, her heart pounding with a mix of excitement and determination. She clutched her ticket and ID as she approached the check-in counter. The line was long, but she didn't mind the wait. It gave her more time to mentally prepare. She adjusted her sunglasses and cap, hoping her disguise was enough to keep her hidden from Mark. She took a deep breath and stepped forward. After quickly checking in her luggage, Jenna grabbed a coffee and a sandwich from a nearby cafe. She found a quiet spot near the gate and settled in, her mind racing with thoughts of the confrontation ahead. Sipping her coffee, she scanned the crowd for any sign of Mark. The minutes ticked by slowly, and the anticipation gnawed at her. Her revenge plan was perfect, and she knew that he would never see this coming. The sudden announcement of a flight delay caused a wave of frustration among the passengers. Jenna noticed the rising tension around her as people grumbled 
and checked their watches. She spotted Mark in the distance, pacing back and forth, looking visibly annoyed. His irritation was palpable, and Jenna couldn't help but smirk. This unexpected delay was only adding fuel to her plan. She stayed seated, watching the scene unfold. Jenna's eyes locked onto Mark as he rudely complained to a flight attendant. His face was red with anger, and his gestures were exaggerated. This is unacceptable, he shouted, causing a few heads to turn. Jenna observed from a distance, shaking her head. He hadn't changed one bit. His entitlement and arrogance were on full display. She felt a sense of vindication watching him make a fool of himself in public. Jenna sipped her coffee, keeping a low profile as she watched Mark's antics from afar. She was calm, almost serene, as she plotted her next move. The delay had given her extra time to think and refine her plan. She glanced at her phone, noting the new departure time. Her mind raced with possibilities and she smiled to herself, ready for the next step. Mark's tantrum escalated, his arms flailing as he angrily gestured and berated the flight attendant. I can't believe this incompetence, he shouted, his voice echoing through the terminal. The flight attendant tried to calm him down, but Mark wasn't having any of it. I demand to speak to your supervisor, he bellowed, drawing even more attention to himself. Jenna watched from a distance, barely able to contain her amusement at his over-the-top antics. His eyes scanned the crowd, momentarily locking with Jenna's, but he remained oblivious to her presence. She held her breath, worried he might recognize her despite the disguise. Mark's gaze flickered past her without a hint of recognition. Jenna let out a silent sigh of relief. She adjusted her sunglasses, sinking deeper into her seat, and kept her focus on Mark, waiting for the next part of her plan to unfold. Mark's continued harassment of the flight attendant drew annoyed glances from other passengers. Can you believe this guy? Someone whispered nearby. Jenna nodded subtly, sharing the sentiment without revealing her connection to him. Mark's loud complaints were now the center of attention, with the flight attendant looking increasingly flustered. Jenna silently applauded her patience. She knew that Mark's behavior would only further isolate him from those around him, making her revenge even sweeter. Jenna remained composed, savoring her coffee and silently reveling in Mark's unawareness of her proximity and her perfect revenge plan. She watched as he finally backed off, muttering under his breath. Other passengers exchanged exasperated looks, clearly fed up with his outburst. Jenna's heart raced with anticipation for the next phase of her plan. She glanced at the departure board, noting the time. It wouldn't be long now before the boarding announcement. The boarding announcement finally came, and passengers lined up, including a patient Jenna near the end of the line. She calmly gathered her belongings and joined the queue, keeping a safe distance from Mark. People around her were still murmuring about the earlier commotion, casting curious glances his way. Jenna kept her head down, her cap pulled low, blending into the crowd. The line moved steadily, and she felt a thrill of anticipation as she boarded. Jenna walked past Mark without him noticing, a sly smile playing on her lips. He was too busy arguing with another passenger about overhead space to pay attention to anyone else. Jenna kept her pace steady, resisting the urge to glance back. The flight attendants greeted her warmly as she handed over her ticket. She took a deep breath, her excitement building as she moved further into the plane. She found her seat at the back of the plane, making herself comfortable and preparing for the flight. The seats were narrow, but Jenna didn't mind. She stowed her bag in the overhead compartment and sat down, glancing around at the other passengers. A few were still settling in, chatting and adjusting their belongings. Jenna leaned back, closing her eyes briefly. The plan was in motion and everything was going perfectly. The plane took off smoothly and Jenna settled in for the journey, her mind on her upcoming revenge. She watched the ground disappear below, the cityscape turning into a patchwork of fields and roads. The hum of the engines was oddly soothing. Jenna pulled out a book, pretending to read while her thoughts raced. She couldn't wait to see the look on Mark's face when she revealed her plan. But she needed to be patient. Jenna's thoughts raced as she anticipated the moment she would confront Mark, feeling a thrill of excitement. She imagined his reaction, the shock and confusion that would spread across his face. 
The idea of him being completely caught off guard was satisfying. She took a deep breath, trying to calm her nerves. The flight attendants started their service, and Jenna accepted a drink, sipping it slowly as she savored the anticipation. The flight proved comfortable, and Jenna struck up a friendly conversation with an older lady seated beside her. First time of the tropics? The lady asked, smiling warmly. Jenna nodded. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. They chatted about their travel plans, the lady sharing stories of her past trips. Jenna enjoyed the distraction, her laughter genuine. The woman's stories were charming, making the flight more enjoyable. It was a pleasant break from her secret mission. When her new friend fell asleep, Jenna read her book, occasionally glancing at the back of Mark's head. The older lady's soft snores were a comforting background noise. Jenna tried to focus on the novel, but her eyes kept drifting towards Mark. He was oblivious, engrossed in a movie. Jenna smirked, feeling a sense of satisfaction. Everything was going according to plan. She shifted in her seat, making sure to stay out of his line of sight. She remained vigilant, hiding her face whenever Mark got up from his seat to avoid detection. Each time he stood, Jenna pretended to adjust her blanket or look out the window. She watched him from the corner of her eye, making sure he didn't see her. Mark stretched, grabbed something from the overhead bin, and sat back down, none the wiser. Jenna's heart pounded, but she maintained her composure, determined to stay hidden. The flight seemed to pass quickly, and soon they were preparing for descent, the tropical destination in sight. Jenna felt the plane begin its slow descent, the captain's voice announcing their approach. She looked out the window at the lush, green landscape below. The excitement built within her, knowing that her confrontation with Mark was getting closer. She tucked her book away and fastened her seatbelt, her mind racing with anticipation. Jenna felt a rush of anticipation as the plane began its descent, ready for the next phase of her plan. The aircraft dipped lower, and the island's coastline came into view. Jenna took a deep breath, her heart racing. She glanced around, making sure Mark was still oblivious to her presence. The cabin buzzed with the excitement of passengers eager to disembark. Jenna smiled to herself, knowing the real adventure was about to begin. As the plane landed, Jenna kept a close eye on Mark, determined not to lose sight of him. The seatbelt sign dinged, and passengers began to stir. Jenna discreetly watched Mark as he stood up, grabbed his bag, and joined the line to exit. She waited a few moments, letting others go ahead of her. Jenna's heart pounded with anticipation. She grabbed her own bag, ready to follow him closely through the bustling airport. She followed him off the plane, blending with the crowd to stay unnoticed while observing his every move. Mark walked briskly, clearly eager to reach his destination. Jenna kept a safe distance, using other passengers as cover. The airport was busy, filled with the chatter of travelers and the rolling of suitcases. Jenna's eyes never left Mark, ensuring she didn't lose him in the throng of people moving toward baggage claim. At baggage claim, she anxiously watched him, ensuring he remained within her line of sight. Mark stood by the carousel, tapping his foot impatiently. Jenna positioned herself behind a family, using them as a shield while still keeping an eye on Mark. She glanced at the rotating conveyor belt, waiting for her own luggage. Her mind raced with thoughts of what to do next. Mark seemed oblivious to her presence, his attention solely on the bags. Suddenly, Mark disappeared from view, leaving Jenna torn between waiting for her luggage and finding him. Panic surged through her as she scanned the area. Where could he have gone? She debated whether to stay put or to search for him. The conveyor belt continued to turn, bags passing by unnoticed. Jenna bit her lip, her anxiety rising. She couldn't afford to lose him now, not when she was so close. Jenna decided finding Mark was more critical, preparing to search the airport for any sign of him. She left her spot at the carousel, darting through the crowd. Her eyes flicked from one person to the next, searching for his familiar figure. The noise of the airport seemed to fade as her focus sharpened. She moved quickly, determined not to let him slip away. Jenna's heart pounded as she began her search. Her search led her to the luggage area, where she heard Mark's familiar, loud voice complaining again. Jenna's heart leapt with relief as she followed the sound. This is ridiculous. 
How long does it take to get bags off a plane? Mark's voice echoed through the area. Jenna smirked, recognizing his signature tone of irritation. She slipped behind a group of travelers, making sure she remained unseen while closing in on her target. Relieved, she blended into the crowd, observing Mark's frustration over the slow luggage arrival. He paced back and forth, muttering under his breath. Jenna watched as he threw his hands up in exasperation, drawing annoyed glances from nearby passengers. She kept her distance, hidden among the throng of people waiting for their bags. Her relief was palpable, knowing she hadn't lost him. She settled in to watch, biding her time. With Mark still occupied, Jenna planned her next steps carefully, waiting for the right moment to follow him. They were still waiting for their luggage. Jenna's mind raced with possibilities, considering every detail of her plan. She needed to stay close, but not too close. Her heart pounded with anticipation, ready to put the next phase into action. The timing had to be perfect. Both Mark and Jenna finally retrieved their luggage, and Jenna trailed him discreetly as he exited the airport. She moved swiftly, making sure to keep him in sight without drawing attention to herself. Mark pushed through the crowd, his bag slung over his shoulder. Jenna kept a steady pace, weaving through the throng of travelers. She maintained a safe distance, her heart racing with anticipation as they headed towards the taxi stand. Mark hailed a taxi, and Jenna quickly followed suit, instructing her driver to tail Mark's taxi. Follow that cab, she told the driver, her voice calm but urgent. The driver nodded, pulling out into traffic behind Mark's taxi. Jenna glanced out the window, making sure they didn't lose sight of him. The busy airport faded into the background as they merged onto the main road, Jenna's excitement building with each passing moment. As they drove, Jenna marveled at the beautiful scenery, momentarily distracted by the stunning landscape. Palm trees swayed gently in the breeze, and the ocean sparkled under the sun. The vibrant colors of the tropical environment were breathtaking. Jenna allowed herself a brief moment to appreciate the view, her tension easing slightly. But her focus quickly returned to the task at hand, ensuring Mark's taxi remained within sight. The drive took about 20 minutes, and Jenna's excitement grew as Mark's taxi slowed down. She leaned forward, trying to catch a glimpse of their destination. Her heart pounded with anticipation, knowing that the next phase of her plan was about to unfold. The lush greenery and winding roads added to the suspense. Jenna clenched her hands, her mind racing with thoughts of what was to come. Mark's taxi stopped at a beautiful resort, and Jenna prepared to execute the next part of her plan. The grand entrance and luxurious surroundings made her momentarily envious. She watched as Mark paid the driver and collected his luggage. Jenna's driver pulled up a short distance away, and she took a deep breath, readying herself for the next steps. The sight of the resort only heightened her resolve, knowing she was closer than ever to her goal. Jenna waited in her taxi until Mark disappeared into the resort, then paid her driver and got out. She took a deep breath, adjusting her sunglasses and cap. The tropical air was warm and fragrant, a stark contrast to the cold determination she felt inside. Jenna grabbed her suitcase from the trunk, thanked the driver, and headed towards the grand entrance of the resort. Her plan was in motion, and there was no turning back. She approached the resort entrance, suitcase in hand, hoping to secure a room without a reservation. The resort's lobby was elegant and bustling with activity. Jenna stepped inside, taking in the luxurious surroundings. She walked up to the front desk, trying to look as composed as possible. Hi, I know this is last minute, but do you have any rooms available? She asked, her voice steady despite the nerves fluttering inside her. The receptionist seemed skeptical, but checked for availability, and Jenna's luck held with a last-minute cancellation. You're in luck, the receptionist said, typing quickly on the computer. We just had a cancellation. I can offer you a room with a garden view. Jenna smiled, relieved. That sounds perfect, thank you, she replied. She handed over her ID and credit card, grateful that this part of her plan was falling into place smoothly. Relieved, Jenna checked into her room, which was beautifully appointed, perfect for her stay. The room was spacious, with elegant furnishings and a stunning view of the resort's gardens. 
Jenna set her suitcase down and took a moment to absorb her surroundings. The comfortable bed, the inviting decor, it all seemed too good to be true. She smiled, feeling a sense of satisfaction. Her plan was moving forward, and she felt more determined than ever. She took a refreshing shower, mentally preparing for the next steps in her intricate revenge plan. The warm water soothed her travel-weary muscles, helping her relax and focus. Jenna replayed her strategy in her mind, ensuring every detail was perfect. She toweled off, feeling rejuvenated and ready. Dressed in comfortable clothes, she sat on the edge of the bed, going over her plan one last time. Tonight would be crucial. That evening, Jenna dined alone, keeping a discreet eye on Mark from a distance. She chose a table in the corner of the resort's restaurant, giving her a clear view of the room. She sipped her wine slowly, her eyes flicking to him occasionally. Jenna felt a thrill knowing she was so close, yet completely hidden in plain sight. She mingled with other guests, making new friends and sharing drinks, all while watching Mark. After dinner, Jenna moved to the bar area, where a lively group was gathered. She introduced herself, joining in their conversation and laughter. They shared stories and drinks, and Jenna found herself relaxing a bit. Despite her mission, she enjoyed the company, all the while keeping Mark in her peripheral vision, ensuring he didn't notice her. A burst of laughter from her group caught Mark's attention, and Jenna quickly excused herself, worried he'd recognize her. She saw his head turn towards the sound, his eyes scanning the room. Jenna's heart raced as she mumbled an excuse about needing some fresh air. She slipped away from the group, moving towards the exit. Her pulse pounded in her ears, and she glanced back once to see if Mark was following. She rushed to her room, anxious but determined, deciding to lay low until the following evening. Jenna locked the door behind her, leaning against it to catch her breath. The close call had shaken her, but it also fueled her determination. She paced the room, going over her plans for the next day. Jenna knew she had to be more careful. She needed to stay out of sight until the perfect moment. The next day, Jenna stayed in her room, finalizing her plans for the evening's big reveal. She spread out her notes on the bed, reviewing every detail. Her mind raced with possibilities, and she made a few last-minute adjustments. Jenna's excitement grew with each passing hour. She practiced her speech, ensuring it would have the desired impact. By the time evening rolled around, she felt ready. Tonight would be the culmination of all her efforts. At dinner, Jenna clinked her glass to gain everyone's attention, ready to make her bold move. The sound rang clear through the dining area, and conversations halted as heads turned towards her. She stood up, her heart pounding, but her expression calm. Jenna raised her glass higher, making sure she had captured the full attention of the room. She took a deep breath, preparing herself for the moment she had meticulously planned. As silence fell, she began her speech, thanking everyone and introducing her reason for addressing them. Good evening, everyone. Jenna started, her voice steady. I hope you're all enjoying your time here as much as I am. I wanted to take a moment to share something personal with you all. She glanced around the room, her eyes landing briefly on Mark. This trip has been quite an experience, and I have a story to tell. Jenna revealed her motive, calling out Mark as her ex and raising her glass towards him with a smile. You see, she continued, I'm here because of an unexpected and rather unwelcome surprise. My ex-boyfriend, Mark, decided to use my credit card to fund his little getaway. She paused, letting her words sink in, then looked directly at Mark. Cheers to you, Mark for making this trip memorable in the most unexpected way. Mark's face turned red with fury as he demanded to know what she thought she was doing. Jenna, what the hell? He shouted, standing up abruptly. Are you out of your mind? The other guests looked from Jenna to Mark, their expressions a mix of curiosity and shock. Jenna remained calm, her eyes locked on Mark. His anger was palpable, but she was ready for this reaction. She took a sip of her drink, unbothered. Jenna remained composed, continuing with her plan, relishing the shocked expressions around her. Yes, Mark, I'm perfectly sane, she replied coolly. I'm simply letting everyone know the truth about how I ended up here. She looked around the room, meeting the eyes of the other guests. It's important to stand up for yourself, and I believe in transparency. So here we are, 
having a very honest conversation. Jenna's calm demeanor contrasted sharply with Mark's rage. Jenna exposed Mark's deceit, detailing how he had used her credit card for the trip. Imagine my surprise, she said, her voice steady, when I saw a huge charge on my card for this resort. Mark, being the thoughtful ex that he is, decided to take a lavish trip on my dime. The guests murmured among themselves, their eyes widening with shock and disbelief. Jenna continued, ensuring every detail was clear she highlighted his dishonest behavior, making sure everyone understood his true nature. This isn't just about the money, Jenna explained, it's about trust and respect. Mark violated both. Mark's face twisted in anger, and he began to shout over her. You're pathetic, Jenna. You have no right to do this, he yelled, his voice echoing through the dining area. Jenna remained calm, turning to the guests. People like Mark think they can take advantage of others without consequences. I'm here to show that's not the case. Mark's new girlfriend, Emily, entered just in time to witness the chaos and Mark's meltdown. She paused at the entrance, her eyes widening as she took in the scene. What's going on? She asked, her voice shaky. Mark turned to her, his face still red with anger. It's nothing, Emily, he snapped, but Jenna's calm explanation had already caught her attention. Emily stepped closer, confusion turning to realization as she listened. Enraged, Mark screamed nasty things at Jenna, losing control in front of everyone. You're insane, Jenna. This is just pathetic, he shouted, his voice rising with each word. The other guests watched in stunned silence as Mark's tirade continued. Jenna stood her ground, her expression unflinching. His outburst only served to validate her claims about his character. The room buzzed with whispers, everyone witnessing Mark's true nature unfold. Emily, disgusted by Mark's behavior, sided with Jenna, leading to an unexpected alliance. I can't believe you did this, Emily said, her voice shaking with anger. She turned to Jenna, her eyes filled with sympathy and determination. I'm so sorry you had to go through this, she said sincerely. Jenna nodded, appreciating the support. Together, they faced Mark, their united front stronger than his fury. The unexpected twist brought a new dynamic to the unfolding drama. Jenna and Emily bonded over their shared disdain for Mark, forming an instant friendship. I can't believe he did that to you, Emily said, shaking her head. Jenna laughed, and you saw how he reacted when confronted, she replied. They both laughed, finding comfort in each other's company. Over dinner, they shared stories and discovered they had more in common than just their dislike for Mark. Their unexpected alliance quickly turned into genuine camaraderie. They decided to make the most of their vacation together, leaving Mark to stew in his misery. Let's not waste our trip because of him, Emily suggested. Jenna agreed enthusiastically. They planned excursions, spa days, and beach outings. While Mark sulked alone, they were off snorkeling, hiking, and exploring local markets. The days were filled with laughter and new adventures each experience solidifying their newfound friendship and making their trip unforgettable. Mark, humiliated and defeated, cut his trip short and left the resort early. Jenna and Emily watched from a distance as he angrily packed his things into a taxi. Good riddance, Jenna muttered. Emily nodded in agreement. Without Mark's toxic presence, the resort seemed even more inviting. They waved mockingly as his taxi disappeared down the road feeling a weight lifted off their shoulders. The rest of their vacation lay ahead, free from his negativity. Jenna and Emily enjoyed the rest of their vacation, reveling in their newfound friendship. They lounged by the pool, sipped cocktails, and took long walks on the beach. Each day was a new adventure, from trying local cuisine to dancing at a beach party. This has turned out to be the best trip ever, Jenna said one evening, clinking her glass with Emily's. Agreed. Emily replied, smiling. Their days were filled with joy and laughter. As the trip ended, Jenna felt a sense of closure, having successfully turned the tables on Mark. She packed her suitcase, reflecting on the journey. What started as a revenge mission had led to an incredible friendship and unforgettable experiences. I'm really glad we met, Emily said as they exchanged contact information. Me too, Jenna replied. They hugged, 
promising to keep in touch. Jenna boarded her flight home, content and ready for whatever came next.